Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can use the Files panel to get and put files from and to the remote server from your local site. Of course, you must have your remote web server defined in the Site Definition dialog box before you can place files on the remote server or get files from the remote server. When you put the files from your local site onto your remote site, the selected local files are uploaded from your machine to the specified remote server where they will be displayed on the Internet. In the Files panel, you can select the files or folders which you want to place on the remote server. If you want to place the entire website, you can just select the Root folder displayed at the top of the local file list. Once you've selected the files or file which you wish to place onto the remote server, you can just click the Put File button in the toolbar of the File panel. If you select the Root folder, Dreamweaver will ask you if you want to put the entire site, and you can click OK to put the entire local site onto the remote server. Notice that you can also put selected files to the remote server by simply right-clicking on a selected file and then choosing the put command from the pop-up menu which appears to place the selected file or files onto the remote server. You can also retrieve files from your remote web server to overwrite local copies that you have. This can be used to retrieve copies of a file uploaded by another designer to your local copy of the web page. To select files to get, ensure that you're viewing the files of the remote server in the files panel. You can then select the files which you would like to copy to your local folder by selecting them in the Files panel and then selecting the Get Files button in the toolbar at the top of the Files panel. You could also select the files to get from the Files panel and then just right click on any selected file and choose the Get command from the pop-up menu which appears. Oftentimes you'll see a dialog box appear then asking you if you want to include dependent files and these include any linked graphics or other associated files hyperlinked into your web pages which you are attempting to either upload or download. You can click yes to include the dependent files when uploading or downloading web pages. This reminder typically ensures that you do not forget to upload the graphics for a web page to the remote server as well as uploading the page itself. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!